please tell them what it is. Yes. You don't think that they'll agree with your list. No. No, they're not. Okay. They're not. They can't. They can, but they won't. Okay. So we're going to do a draft. Ah. And today's topic of the draft, I gave you, I gave him some heads up so he yeah. could kind of get his thoughts gathered and his list, uh-huh. you know, idealized. He's got mm-hmm. a lot of notes over there, as you can see. So um, he's really prepared. Yeah. It is the draft, the official KG draft of gas station snacks. This okay. is a popular. This is a popular topic among a lot of people. You're going to the gas station. You're on a road trip. You're stopping in the gas station. You got to get food. What do you get? And surprisingly, this is something I've never actually thought about. Okay, this is something I've never actually thought about. And that I, that might be a problem. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah. Because now I'm going to think about it today. So you got a you got a you <laughs> you have a very small piece of paper pulled up. Yes. But oh gonna, oh, do you, oh you want it bigger? Oh I mean I. I <laughs> That's that's the scale. I mean, but whatever. So here's the thing. Here's here's the long story short, and you guys can participate too, and feel free to critique our list. You're stopping at a gas station, and you have to pick up so many items. You have to pick out which ones you want. But here's the thing. You can only have one of each category. We're going to have five categories. We're going to have an entree. This is like your main source of calories. You have a drink, pretty standard. You have chips. We was going to say side, but let's be honest. Chips are the only side at a gas station. Then we have dessert or candy, whatever you want, and then one miscellaneous. So, uh, yeah, without further ado. Um, who gets first picked, me or you? And we cannot double pick, so we cannot pick the same thing. Yes. And we're going to start off with entrees and go straight down the list. No, you, you can pick any order you want. Really? Yeah, whatever order uh, you want to go. Um. Okay, well, I think... I don't even know what... <laughs> I think I'm going to let you start You're it. You're going to defer. Yes, but we have to define what kind of gas station. we Are we talking about a big one? Are we talking about one with a Hardee's We're built in? We're talking about your gas station on the way to heaven. Because I mean, I've went it's to, a nice gas station. I went to some of these country gas stations. I'm like, oh, dude, this is a country gas station. This just happened in the summer. I went to the country gas station. I was like, dang, they're about to have some bussin' bussin' bologna sandwich, Okay. They had toilet paper and Barbie dolls, and that is it. Tough. Does that count? Tough. Are we talking about all the gas stations together? Yeah. Okay. So, okay, go ahead. But you can't, like, you can't just define the rules for everybody so we're all on the same page. Yeah. You can't pick, like, a McDonald's burger that's, like, connected to a gas station. Right, right. Because that's not the gas station. Right, right. You got to pay for it. At the counter of the gas station. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go first. Okay. And I'm going to pick... For the entree. I'm going to pick candy. Oh! I'm going to pick candy with my first pick. The perfect road trip candy is M&M's. It's w- M&M's. With or without peanuts? Or does it depend about your allergy palate? Yeah. I mean, for... If you're allergic, don't go with peanuts. I don't even think I want to specify because everybody, you know, you okay. might have you might have your own M M&M and M preference. I don't want to judge you for that. It's true. You know, sometimes true. I'm an M M&M and M minis guy, but so you're going with M and M's first M&Ms, overall. I think first uh, overall, overall. Yeah, M and M's. Do you like M and M's? Yeah. I ain't even gonna say what I was about to say. You don't like M and M's? Later, no. This, this is <laughs> we, we can't go down that rabbit hole. I'm gonna have you get to the go, ne- you get the next two picks. Oh, and I'm gonna start off with an entree. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say a Hardee's biscuit. No, you can't get that because that's a Hardee's. That's not a gas station. But it's not McDonald's. What? It's Hardee's. No, you gotta get it if you don't pay for it at the gas station. Have you, you ever seen Hardee's that's not connected to a gas station? Yes. Okay. Well. More than not. The subway count. You can't pick subway now. It's terrible. I wasn't going to. Okay. I don't know about this one. This one's tough. I don't like this one, but... Man. It's a gas station. You ain't getting much. But I'm getting the little hot dogs. Gas station hot dogs. That's terrible. That's a terrible option. Why did I pick that? 
It's too late now, it's, too. It, it stopped. Here's the thing, though. The hot dogs totally. aren't so bad. The ketchup packings aren't bad either. Okay, the ketchup's pretty decent. Especially if you go there at like a 5, 5.30, to where the hot dogs have been there all literally all day. They kind of get a little, nice little crisp to them. But the buns, they've been there for three weeks, buddy. <laughs> okay. They've been there for three weeks, and they've been specially packaged with carbon in their little... This is not factual, but <laughs> they, they do. Yeah, it is. Don't look it up. Don't look it up, but they pa- package it with carbon monoxide so that it will not go bad and mold cannot grow. Therefore, it's pretty much the same. It's pretty much McDonald's. Do you know what I'm talking about? No, but I like like I do. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So now I get another pick. You get another pick. I'm going to have to go with chips. Chips. Oh, my gosh. Wait, no. Drink. 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 No. I'm going with chips. Chips. You know, the, the kid who used to drink Mountain Dew, he would say Cool Ranch Doritos. Oh, but is that what the man, Kendall Gray, would say? I'm a changed man. Not too cheap. I'm going, I'm going with, oh gosh, this is so hard, dude. Chips. Chips. It's a long road trip, man. I'm going with. Uh, you don't have this much time to decide. Steak fries. Steak fries. We in Britain, baby. Steak fries. Yeah, because in Britain, chips are fries. Now, do gas stations ever sell steak fries? I don't think so. I don't really think that's a valid option, but I'll just count it because I don't think it's... I think you were having too much of a moral dilemma picking what kind of chips you like. Funyuns are decent. Well, it's too late now. Yeah, steak fries are the bomb, though. I don't don't, 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 don't want steak fries from a gas station. Dang, my picks are terrible. Yeah, this is a rough list for you. Man, I've already lost. Okay, drink. If you are on a long road trip, there's only two options. There's not many options, there's, actually. There's two real options. You can act like there's all these options. There's two options. I can tell you right now. Water. Oh, wow. Just because it no. doesn't leave like a bad like aftertaste in your mouth if you're not going to be drinking all for right. like... Maybe there's a good option. cleanses your palate. But the best option, if you're going on a long road trip, it's Gatorade. Wow. Wow. It's, it's Gatorade. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I was expecting you to say there's two options, and it's Mountain Dew and Sweet Tea. And I'm like, no, those are literally the terrible ones. <laughs> do you want to get to your destination, or do you want to, or do you want to like rate bathrooms as no, you go? No. Yeah. See, I'm. You, Sweet you, Tea's the worst thing to get. I don't. I don't agree with that. I mean, do you want to? Do you want to be on the road, or do you want to be a bathroom inspector? You have one of two options. I love public bathrooms. Well, then maybe sweet tea is the move. Because I don't, I don't want to clean my own bathroom, so I just public ones. You is know? it your pick again? It is my pick again. Okay. And I think for a miscellaneous gas station wow. items, wow, I'm going to pick phone accessories. You ever like, you're in a, on a road trip. I was on a road trip one time to, uh, I can't remember. I think I was going to Virginia or something like that. I was driving all alone phone dies and i go to this gas station and they've got phone chargers and i've never felt more loved and cared for by any business ever so i'm going to put phone accessories but i mainly mean chargers i think if you're traveling and you forget a phone charger you're in bad shape furthermore if you're traveling without a backup phone charger you're also in bad shape i'm sorry but this gas station, they had me. They had my back. Did you not travel with a backup phone charger? I was younger. Okay. I was I was I was unweathered by time. A couple weeks ago. Yeah. It was at least at least a week ago. At least. Dang. You know, change I am I'm, I'm a lot different. Mature. Experienced. You know, I'm I'm a weathered. Sav- I'm a savvy vet now. No, phone accessories is good, but I'm not even going to go there yet. I'm going to go with drink, okay? Drink? Yeah, I think you got two options. You've just said them. <laughs> <laughs> no, and it's not Mountain Dew. It's okay. boots. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but you do have two options, okay? Are are you like a sweat? Are you a sweat? Are you one that's like, I'm going to weave in and weave out? In that case, you may need Gatorade. Get them electrolytes. And... I can't. Uh, Powerade. Get them electro. <laughs> you need to get that Powerade if you're a sweat. Okay. Your other option is to go with water. That's my option. 
But not just any water, because I don't care what you say. Water's not water. No, it's not. Core water. It's not. Water is not water. Good water is good water, and bad water is bad water. This may be a local thing, but Cumberland Gap water is terrible. Hot, you you have not said anything that like reaffirms anybody. You have I, only in this episode said things that's like. Why would you bring people together when you can turn them apart? Am I right or am I right? I'm kidding. That's terrible. But Cumberland Gap is also terrible. Anything with a soft bottled water like this, soft water, because you can bend it. Cumberland Gap is pretty much PVC pipe. You cannot bend it. Okay. Smart water is also terrible because do they put something chemically in it to where it can't get cold? It's not cold ever. I, I'm i not going to lie. I judge people if they don't have a favorite, favorite brand of water. Oh, I have a favorite brand, and it is Members Mark, which I think is Sam's Club, which is also Walmart. Yeah, no, I mean, I think people who act like it's ridiculous to have a favorite brand of water, they're ridiculous. Yeah, if they say water's water, dude. It's like, have you ever, try, have you ever tried it? Yeah. First you probably drink Mountain Dew all day, don't you? First timer? I mean, come on. Is it my pick? Yeah. I really? tell you what, while we're on the subject, okay. Core water is the oh best. Oh my gosh. Does it get cold? It does it have the ability to get cold? It's cold now. Wow. And I've had that what in the of, world is that? Out of the, out of the out of the fridge for a while. For a while. That's cold water. It's even got like a little cup if you want to make it that. It's the lid. Yeah, if you want to, you don't have to. It's like soul cleansing water. Like when you drink it, it's what I imagine water tastes like. Whatever that means. <laughs> so it's next my pick. I'm gonna say miscellaneous for last because gonna keep them guessing. It depends on what state you're in, honestly. But as for the dessert <laughs> slash snack, ooh, I could upset people with this, but I don't think I'm going to. I'm just gonna say. I would say Reese cups. No hot take. No hot take. No, I'm not mad at them. But they disappear very quickly in my hands. Mm, yeah. They disappear very quickly. Gotta get that king size. Or you can... Oh my goodness, dude. I just remembered what I was going to say. Let's hear it. You know those donuts? Which one are you talking? Like, the, like full size ones? No. Or like the mini, the like mini the donuts. Like With host- white powder on them? The hostess white powder does. Yeah. You get the big bag. Okay? You may be saying, KG, you're not thinking about that one, okay? Think about all the white powder. No, it's a sacrifice. Like Cheetos. It is, but Cheetos aren't worth the sacrifice. I'm going white powdered hostess full bag donuts. Big. Because you got to think about it. You could go with chocolate, which is a decent option, but white powder does not melt. Chocolate does. Both are a great option, though. One thing you don't want to do is get the small. You don't. You you put to put big bag. Is it essential? No, it is. Because if you don't, then what are you doing? No, big bag goes at the end. If you don't put, if you don't get the big bag, what are? What are you going to eat it before you get out of the parking lot? Is it a road trip or a parking lot? For real. Big bag. Then put big at Here. the end. No, you have to put big bag. It's it's central. Right there. Yeah, there you it's go. All That's caps. Fine. That's fine. Is that satisfactory for you? I like it. Okay. My last two picks. What do I need? Entrees? Right now you got M&M's, Gatorade, phone accessories, and you're lacking chips and an entree. Okay. What do you pick? The easiest pick ever, which I... KG, you fumbled. The optimal entree at a gas station. I chose a hot dog. I fumbled really bad. It's pizza. Wow. Every gas station, though, I feel like they advertise whatever kind of pizza brand they have very hard as if I'm supposed to know what, you know. Like, we got Big Bubba's frozen pizzas. It's like, we we got Papa Gino's fresh and hot. Come get them. And it's like. Is that supposed to mean something to me? Is there a connection there that I didn't that I didn't know that I had to this brand before I got to this gas station? I'm talking they take up a whole window to whole advertise window. it. Every single gas station that has pizza. Now don't get me wrong, I've had some good gas station pizza. But I've all I'm also had a lot where I'm like, they are very proud that this is the brand they have, and I have no clue what this is. You also gotta take into account um at least around here, they'll advertise pizza. They don't even have pizza. 
that's that that has happened yeah <laughs> that's not good that is not good yeah no it's bad vibes now did i go in there looking for the pizza no but i noticed you went in for those donuts I went in for the donuts. Noticed they didn't have pizza. I was like, dang, that is weird <laughs> advertising if good, I've ever seen good it. Good thing I wanted donuts. <laughs> As for pizza, I'm going to have to say yay and nay. Like, is this a road trip food or parking lot food? Are you really going to be eating a pizza like this? Pizza's versatile. Is it? Yeah. It's it's an elite food. If it's, you a, have a, it's a handheld meal. It's got bread. It's got cheese. It's got vegetables or whatever tomatoes are. And meat on usually like pepperonis, that is a lot in your hand at one time. That's an elite meal. Well, if it's floppy, make it work. You got to make it work. You can roll it. You got to be a vet. You got to be a that. That's Tanner, problem Tanner solving from, skills. Tanner from a few years ago, he would have panicked under that situation. But now, I've eaten enough pizza that solving. I can, I can handle it. It's remarkable. Is it my turn? Or your no, turn? I gotta gotta close oh, okay. out the list. With okay, so I've, I've tried to be kind of like universal, political, correct. Yeah, like not. I ain't trying to pull a KG and throw everybody under the bus, but I'm gonna pick something very particular here. And if you've had them, chips. If you've had them, you know. L eight Fritos. Like, no. Honey barbecue twist. Mm, Have you had them? Mm, I'd say along with ninety eight percent. No, we've not. Well, get them. Dude, what is it? Fritos. Honey baked. Honey, I think, yeah, I, don't, I don't even know what the exact name is. Honey baked twist. It's honey barbecue twist. Hmm. Elite. Are you going to put elite after it or no? Is elite like a part of the... Is no, that like I'm, a, I'm saying they're, they are they are an oh, elite chip. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So if you're looking for them, they're not elite. Like it's not on the packaging. No. Yet. I can pull up a picture if you need to see. Yeah. While I'm debating what my miscellaneous should be, you go ahead and pull this picture up because I'm sure that nobody has ever seen them except for about three people, one of which is in Kansas. And we already know how you feel about Kansas. Yeah, I mean, it's the Midwest. It's cool. I'm not saying Kentucky's any better, but I'm saying if someone says Kansas, I say corn. As for my miscellaneous... It, a lot of it has to do with where you're at. Like, are you going two hour trip back home? Yeah, a little hungry. Back, you coming back from the lake? So, dad's pumping gas. You go in and get food. Or is this like a Florida trip? Which for Kentucky people, that's a long way, son. That's like halfway around the globe. Oh man, those are. Oh my goodness, those are popular, aren't they? They're very popular. Okay, so maybe I'm in the dark. Yeah, you owe me an apology. I've been in the dark the whole episode. You owe me an apology. That's probably isn't is that more popular than their original? They're better. Are they more popular? I think it's a weird thing if you just eat like Fritos. Like if you just don't people put stuff in them? Yeah, I think it's like a culture. It's like a more of an ingredient to like dishes and stuff like that. But these these are standout top tier. As soon as we get done recording this, we're going to try some. Look how this one says BBQ. That one says bar. BQ. What's that? What's the I strap? Don't, I don't know what that is. That ain't it. That may not even be Fritos. That's not the same thing at all. As for my miscellaneous, I'm going to say, all right, listen. Put yourself in my shoes or in, maybe in my boots. But, all right, you're 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 coming home. You're coming home. Long trip. Eight hours plus. No. Eight hours Seven plus. hours plus. Seven. I've, I've got to say, before before we get to this, my yeah. miscellaneous, just, mm-hmm. just one more, you know, they didn't give us anything, but. I had in my notes honorable mentions. In my notes, I had pocket knives for my miscellaneous. Dang. But guess what? I got here. This is the only pocket knife I'll ever use again. I have another one I in will, my pocket somehow. I will not. Why would I buy a gas station pocket knife? Funny you say that. That was actually my choice. I mean, have you never tried these? It's a specialty thing. Wait, so you think it's more absurd somebody doesn't have two phone chargers instead of thinking that they don't have two pocket KG pocket knives on them at all times? You're missing my point here. You go to the beach. I'll put you it told on. Aunt Kathy you would get her a souvenir. Long story short, you didn't. Okay, you're on your home back. Sorry, you're on. Kathy. You're on your way back home. You're at a gas station. You're like, oh snap, Aunt Kathy gonna be mad again. 
What do you do? You look for something that has her name on her, okay? It's not beach related. <laughs> it's not beach related, but it's, it has her name, so it makes up for it. What do you see? You see a wall with pocket knives, and they have every name under the moon, except the ones that you actually need. Luckily, they have Kathy. Did you put? I, I just put name souvenirs. Name, put Kathy knife, because that's what I'm going for. The Kathy knife. Yeah, a Kathy. They're wooden. You know exactly what I'm talking about. They're wooden. They put them on the shelf. No one ever buys them, but they're there. They're an option. And they're they're a Swiss Army knife, but they're wood, and they say Kathy on them. Okay, and that's that's the pick. Unfortunately, but if I wasn't on a long road trip and Kathy didn't tell me to get her something, I probably would do something different. Like probably just get, you know, the chocolate donuts, one of the, the one big of the, bag, one of those unicorn figurines. Those are that's a nice. good strat. But Kathy, Kathy's a woodworker. Oh, uh, she likes she's a wood. logger. She likes wood. She's a logger. She's she a she's knives. a woman of she's a woman of the woods. That's exactly. But no, let's, right. but let's say Kathy didn't want a knife. I'm yeah, I'm probably just gonna go with the big bag of the chocolate donuts. Well, it's already on there now, though. You picked it. It's official. Yeah, it's already on there. Kathy okay, deserve it. Anybody watching this? In the comments, we need your we, help. We want your list. We want First to be all, roasted. We want whose list is better, Tanner or KG's, yeah. and then we want your list. So let us know, KG. And- Give us give us a full recap of your list. My full recap, I'm going, oh, man, I'm ashamed to say this. I picked gas station hot dogs, steak fries. No. Yes. Not at a gas as, as a miss. Water. First oh, my God. You didn't put soft bottle, but it's okay. It's okay. Water, powdered white donuts, big bag. That one carries. <laughs> it really does. And then Kathy knife. What you got? I've got M&M's, whatever your preference. Gatorade, I ain't going to... Listen, everybody's got their flavors. I'm more of like a yellow, red, orange guy. Whatever wow. you like, that's Gosh. what is on this list because I'm pandering to everybody. Phone accessories. You're lobbying for votes, aren't you? I am. I'm trying to win this. This this means way more to me than it should. You, you're you doing a little carpet bombing technique. If you throw a big enough carpet over it, you're going to hit something. Yeah, for sure. Pizza, I mean, whatever that... Papa Gino's or whatever your gas station is that they advertise pr- proudly, that's the one. It's good. That's that's the one I meant. Go try it if you haven't. And then lastly, if you don't think Fritos, Honey Barbecue Twist are good, you're just showing that you've never had them. That's the list. So give us yours. I want. I'm I'm picking his. I'm already up to nothing. Unless it's a little country gas station. That home cooks their hot dogs. Home cooked hot home, dogs. They they have a they have a full time chef or cook, and she personally made those steak fries and hot dogs. That bumps me up. I might be number one. No. Ever. No. But yeah, guys, here's the thing. Tell us what you think in the comments. Tell us what we could do better. Tell us some topics you want us to hit, even though we probably won't hit them. Um that's pretty much it. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Try to get us to five thousand likes. I don't remember why, but if you get 2,500, I'm going to the boot barn, and I'm going to wear boots for a month straight. It is torture, but it's torture for you guys. It makes it worth it. Also, we will be doing drafts. Any draft ideas that you all want to hear, yeah, we'll be drop them in these. the comments. Let us know what kind of drafts you all want. That's pretty much it. Bye. If you want to see the full podcast, click the first link in the description and check it out.